Hey guys, thanks for coming back to Hidden Valley Homestead. I appreciate uh, you guys checking out the videos and uh, you guys are making it a lot of fun. Thank you for everybody that has subscribed and are watching our videos and, and following our journey as we are living a, a dream off grid and uh, being self-determining. So those of you that have been watching the channel for a while, and a lot of you guys have seen my gopher uh, trap video. If you haven't seen that, uh, I'll leave the little card up there at the top. You can click on that link up there and you can check that out. But it was a gopher trap that you can buy on Amazon. It's very, very effective for us trying to grow a garden up here and protect it from the gophers who are voracious garden destroyers, little evil little varmints. Uh, that trap was very, very effective. However, a really wonderful company saw that video and decided to send me their version of a gopher trap. We're gonna try that thing out. They sent it to us for free, and uh, so they're kind of sponsoring this video, and we're gonna open up the box and see what is there. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. So guys, I really appreciate uh, all the comments and the feedback that I'm getting from all you guys. It really makes it fun for us and it really makes it real that uh, what we're doing is something you guys are enjoying uh, watching. So, all right, let's check these traps out. So you guys remember these that you set. It's a spring-loaded trap. I had some people call it a gut trap because it once the, uh, the gopher hits this little door, uh, their midsection tends to be where the little spring-loaded uh, tines are and typically it's around their midsection so and then uh, but you have to dig a hole for these and you've got to insert them carefully without springing the trap and then to get them out you either have to dig the dirt out or I attach these wires with little flags we knew where they, where they were buried because I've lost these a couple times so these little flags were really really effective and and with the wires able to pull them out of the hole with the gopher and just so you guys know after i did that video and shared all that with you guys i had reset all three of these traps the next day i was three for three i had three gophers in there really effective but this trap is different so the only downside to those spring-loaded traps is that you don't know if you've actually got a gopher or not that's why i tied the wire to it with the orange flag so i wouldn't lose them but i still got to pull them out and see or dig the dirt away and see if there's a if there's a gopher that's been that has sprung the trap, and then if you haven't, you've got to reset the trap, put the put it back in the hole. This is a different trap. Let's open the box. Gopherhog.com, and you guys can go check out their videos and and what this thing is all about. But we're gonna give it a try here. So what we have here is a spring-loaded trap. Pretty cool. Here are all the items in this box. This is the actual snare. This is the spring-loaded trap that goes in the hole. And then we have the we have the hole boring kit. It's important to set the trap in the habitat tunnel, not the space that dirt is pushed out from. So gopher mounds have a round shape or plug on near one side of the mound and the fanned out dirt has been pushed in the tunnel. So we're gonna begin probing six to 10 inches from the plug in the opposite direction of the fanned out dirt, ideally between two mounds. A tunnel is found when the probe pushes through the soil with the least resistance. So in order to set this trap, oh, okay. So this is the spare. They give you a spare, a spare one. And then by pushing this out, Twist the wedge handle to remove the probe tool. Oh, there's a probe right here that comes with the probe tool. That's very cool. So this is what we're gonna to use to probe for the holes. And this is what you use to make the hole bigger. Brace the cap with a flat hand while pulling up the black tube and until the trap locks into place. This is all yellow right through here. All right, so that took a second to figure out. You definitely don't want to get your fingers in here because uh, that thing's gonna hurt. In order to disengage, you are supposed to firmly strike, you're supposed to firmly strike this outer tube. The nice thing about this trap is that uh, you can see the yellow when it's been triggered. 
and then you pull it up and it's obviously been sucked up inside so i'm thinking that's gonna just about cut a gopher in half but we'll check it out all right so right over here we've got a fresh gopher hole all right so so let's take this thing out we're gonna take out the probe right here and it's and then this is the thing that makes the holes and now it talks about looking for where there's two holes a lot of times they're connected by a tunnel so let's check this out okay that kind of went through easy no no it's the ground's kind of moist right here no okay no there's a new hole right there There we go. It went right in there. Oh, it went right there. Do you guys see how it just sunk right in? So eight to 10 inches. So let's set the sucker right here. Okay, so I'm gonna make the hole. Okay. I'm gonna widen out that hole. You guys can see how wide I've made that hole. It says to round it out. And there is a tunnel. And I know you can probably not see that, but I can see the tunnel on that side and I can see the tunnel on this side. So the tunnel goes across here. So I am setting this trap right here, gently, just like that. And then I'm gonna Fill this in a little bit to hold it. Okay. Now, as you guys can see, the trap is set. The yellow is not showing. And so if, it, if this thing actually springs, it's going to pop up and you're going to see the yellow. So you don't have to take this thing out in order to see... That there's a that something has tripped the trap so we're gonna leave it all right guys i'm going to leave this thing here overnight and uh, we'll come back out in the morning and see what happens um i will let you guys know in the second half of this video how many days it should be if it's a fresh hole it should be pretty quick thankfully the uh, the dogs aren't really going to be playing with this thing but you definitely can see the trap and where it's at and whether it's sprung or not so all right, for you guys, it'll be in just a second. For me, it'll be tomorrow. So, see you guys in a second. No digging, Barrett. No digging. I'm trying to trap gophers here. Barrett likes to dig holes. That's no good when you're trying to trap a gopher. You don't scare the gophers away. All right, guys, this is day two, and you can see that this, the trap has not sprung. However, there is a new hole, uh, mound right there. Actually, there's a new mound right over there with a fresh hole. So I'm gonna try right there and re reposition this trap. You can see it hasn't, it hasn't sprung. So I'm gonna pull out the probe. I'm gonna try right here. Oh, that's hard right there. Oh, there it goes through right there. It's hard there there goes right through there and it goes right through right through there that's hard there so there's a tunnel in between these two holes right here I need, to, I, need to, I need to spring the trap and I need to put this in the hole until I hit the bottom of the hole and then hold this. Oh, huh. don't push down because that's what happens, guys. If you push down, 
you'll bend this, these springs. So that's why they say do not push down. Oh, I almost messed this thing up. Okay, well I was able to bend it back. And the other ones aren't damaged, so. Okay, so I'm gonna spring it. Push it all the way in until it hits the bottom of the hole. I'm gonna hold this, I'm gonna pull up on the, there. Okay, we're set. Okay guys, so there's a really good example of why they don't want you to push down on the top because when you hit the bottom of the tunnel with the pipe and you push down, you're effectively pushing those springs out and smashing them against the bottom of the hole. So they want you to hold the top of that thing and pull up on the pipe to set the trap. So we've done that and that's a fresh hole. So uh, stay tuned and see what happens. We're gonna check, check these out. And again, this is kind of a review of the Gopher Hawk versus these other, uh, these other traps. And let's see what we can find here, so. on that one. Oh yeah, got another one. Look at that. See how that thing pinches and kept him in there and he died, he couldn't move. Those are nasty little buggers. He's not as big as the other ones, but definitely got another one here. Okay guys, I can see that this one hasn't sprung yet. This, this spring hasn't popped up with the yellow showing, so. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like when they, when the trap actually springs. So these are designed with a little dangly in the middle that as soon as the gopher goes through there, it will hit that little dangly and pull up and snap on the, on the gopher. Or you can, you can hit this thing. If a gopher were to get in there, it would definitely trap it and, and kill it, snap its neck or whatever. So, I think after about two weeks of trapping gophers, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this thing a. Oh, I don't know. I haven't caught a single gopher on this yet. This is a different approach, where you use this at the beginning of a tunnel at the opening of the tunnel where they have just dug a fresh mound, you dig this out and you put this at the beginning of the tunnel. And then when you, when they, when they, they want to maintain their opening, they'll push against this thing and it will trap them. So this is at the entrance of the tunnel where this one, according to the instructions, you're supposed to find a connective tunnel between mounds and you're supposed to put this in, in there and they're supposed to be going through their little tunnel to maintain their mounds. And at some point we'll eventually hit that little, the little trigger. But I haven't found it. I have not caught a single gopher on this yet where I'm up to five with these. These just seem to be bulletproof every single time. And it might have something to do with the approach or where you're actually placing them at the entrance to the tunnels at the mounds where this is in between. I'm gonna keep trying this thing and see if I can catch a gopher with the gopher hawk. But as of right now, this is made by Victor, Victor Gopher Trap. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is the one to get. I'll leave a link in the description for these guys. Um, these just work really, really good. Um, again, and they, they don't come with the flag on it. Remember, we put these on there. So this is the way to find them. And it's easier to pull them out with a piece of wire on it or a piece of good string that way you can find them the next morning or, or the next day. So um, anyway, guys, there you go. Thanks for watching. There's my Gopher Hawk review, Gopher Hawk versus Victor Gopher Trap. And uh, I'm gonna say this, is, this has been hands down the winner so far. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video.